Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my first haul from Tea Time Tarts. So I follow this vendor on Instagram and she's always posting really awesome new things that she's working on. She's actually really active on Instagram. Um, and I've been following her for a while and even before I ordered from her, she would comment on my things and like my pictures and stuff. Um, so I was scrolling through one day and I saw that she was having a sale and I actually, it was a really good sale. Um, I'm looking through my invoice right now. I actually didn't realize I ordered so much stuff. So as I got the package and I was going through it, I was like, oh my God, like there's so much stuff in here. Okay, so um, it was a Labor Day sale. I'm not exactly sure what percentage it was, um, but I ended up saving $23.02. So I saved quite a bit of money on this order and I really didn't even really spend that much. Okay, so she has all kinds of stuff. I ended up getting jam drops and custard Oh no, custard shots. Okay, the jam drops, which I did not know about, I thought they were just like one ounce scent shots, but what they are is scoopables. So I got two ounce scoopables and I got two ounce scent shots. And then I also got petite fours, she calls them. And they are packs of six little square tarts. You'll see them. Um, okay, so first impressions wise of the vendor and of the company, um, I like to do this just because it's a new company and I haven't seen much on this vendor, which is why I kind of want to give some information before I show the haul. Um, the vendor is very, very nice. She's very helpful. She will absolutely answer any question that you have. And there was a slight problem with my order. Um, I ended up ordering um, a custard shot, which is a scent shot in rosemary mint. And I guess that one got oversold. So she messaged me right away before my package went out. And she gave me like three different options to choose from. She said that you can either pick a different scent or I can wait until the oils come in and then your package will ship out a few days later. Or you can have um, a new scent that I'm working on, which was, it was, I think it was like pep lace, or what's it say? Pep lace with Rome, rosemary's garden or something. Um, so she gave me those options, which was amazing. So I was just like, yeah, I'll take the new scent. Like, that's fine. Um, so she was very, very helpful with that. Very, very nice. And um, she shipped out in a reasonable time. It wasn't any crazy tat or anything. And for the most part, I like everything, but I'll get into that when we get into the haul. So let me go ahead and show you the samples that she sent. She did send some really good ones. So this first one here is caramel apple cake, sweet green apples, cake batter, and warm caramel. Love that she puts the scent description on the labels. It's amazing. And also along with her website. Um, I didn't get a business card. I don't know if she has them or not, but I guess that's not really that big of a deal. This is so good. This was like my favorite sample that she sent me. This is amazing. It's like a sweet mac apple with that caramel in the background. It smells like, um, like caramel apple butter, whatever it's called. And then I got this cute little skull in blueberry pizzell, blueberry muffin and pizzell. Her blueberry is strong. But to be honest with you, I think it smells more like a raspberry than a blueberry, but it's really good. And then I got Tranquility, which is cute. Um, it detoxify negative energy with this Tranquil blend of blue sugar, Palo Santo, rich creamy vanilla, and sandalwood. So that is right up my like right up my alley. I love masculine scents. I'm loving Palo Santo lately. This is amazing. It smells like um, vanilla sandalwood campfire marshmallows from Rose Girls. And then you definitely get the Palo Santo in there along with the blue sugar. It's such an amazing blend. I wish I had seen this on the website because I would have gotten so much more. That is so good. All right, so I'll get into the custard shots first. So these are just regular old scent shots. I'm not kind of, I'm not really sure what, um, like wax, what's it called? Like, um, like wax blend that she has. I think it's like a parasoy blend, I'm going to assume, but I'm not exactly sure. Okay. So I got glazed zucchini bread, um, vanilla bean, or glazed zucchini bread, vanilla bean glazed zucchini bread. <laughs> oh, I can't talk. This is really good. So I will say that I do have trouble getting some of the scent shots out. Um, it's like maybe they're stuck to the cup or something, but I do know that I had that issue with another vendor and you can just pop it into the freezer and they'll come out. With a little bit of elbow grease, they do eventually pop out on their own. This is so good. I love the zucchini bread scent. It is amazing. It's like really, really strong too. I can get the cap back on. 
Um, coffee eclair, sweet pillowy puff pastry filled with creamy coffee custard. <laughs> oh God, say that three times fast. So this one's okay, but I've noticed with her coffee scents, they're not very strong. To me, this smells more like of a vanilla pastry. I don't really get much coffee, um, but maybe they'll change when they melt. When they melt, I'm not exactly sure. Um, sandalwood sugar cookies. That sounded like so good to me. This is amazing. I love that she kind of mixes masculine with bakery. It's one of my favorites. This is really good. And I love the tie-dye. That's going to be gorgeous when it melts. I'm so excited. I mean, this order has been sitting for a while. Um, so I think they're kind of like been sitting long enough to have their true scent now. But I don't know if there is a um, cure time. I'm not exactly sure. I forgot to ask. But uh, we'll see, I guess. All right, I got sugar to waffle cone. This one's another kind of light one. But when you smell the bottom where all the oils is, um, all the oils is, while the, <laughs> yeah, where the oil is, it's a little bit stronger. But yeah, it's, it gets a light version of vanilla sugar waffle cone, in my opinion. Then we got spirit bread, which is vanilla sandalwood and zucchini bread. This is amazing as well. Look at that. That is going to be so cool. I love her vanilla sandalwood. It is so good. And then mixed with that strong zucchini bread. Oh, amazing. I got pumpkin spice brulee latte, coffee beans, cocoa beans, and sweet pumpkin and cream. This is awesome as well. But this is one I can't get out. I wish I could. But um, it's so good. You get the pumpkin spice latte, the brulee, the strong coffee beans. So this is a nice coffee scent. So I'm not sure why some of her other ones are very light. But this is so amazing. This is one of my favorite pumpkin spice latte scents that I've had so far. That is so yummy. All right, I got campfire kettle corn, fire roasted marshmallows, and kettle corn. This is really good too. So this one popped out um, pretty much with no problem. I love the kettle corn scent in here. It's really nice. And I really like um, the roasted marshmallows. It really smells like fire roasted marshmallows. Then I got um, Captain's Brunch, which is pumpkin pecan waffles smothered in crunch berry syrup. So I'm, I like crunch berry scents and Fruit Loops and stuff, but I'm kind of just over it. And I've said that before. So when I bought this, I didn't really read the scent descriptions, of course, but this one isn't bad. I like the pumpkin pecan waffles in here. It's a really nice scent. And then um, it kind of, it goes well with the crunch berry syrup. Um, but and one other thing I wanted to point out, this isn't that big of a deal, but it's not really filled like all the way. There is some space on the bottom here and on the top. Um, it's really not that big of a deal, but I feel like someone else would maybe point it out. I don't really care, but um, you can just see that some are filled more than others. I don't know if maybe that has something to do with the wax that she uses or the oils, but you know. Okay, so this is the new one that she was working on, Rosemary's Garden, which is rosemary, mint, and green tea. Okay, so I guess I got that wrong. Um, this is really nice, though. I love it. So it's definitely like a minty... It's, it's what it says it is. It's rosemary and then extra mint and then the kick of the green tea. I can't really get it out. It's stuck, but... Um, it's really good for what it is. This one's probably going to have to go in the freezer. I'm trying to get it out. Oh, I might be able to. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this is really good. This will be an awesome bedtime blend for sure. But another thing that I want to point out, when you do get it out, there's wax that kind of gets like stuck on there. You can scrape it out, but it's kind of just, you know, one of those things that's kind of annoying. But that is really nice. I really like that one a lot. Which is weird because I didn't think I, might, I would like it as much as I do. All right, then I grabbed Coffee Crisp, a secret blend, a secret blend that smells just like the Canadian made candy bar. I do not know what that is, Coffee Crisp, because um, I'm not Canadian. However, it's nice, but again, it's really light. You get a little bit of coffee. It's not super strong. Um, 
I don't know what else might be in here besides like that coffee scent, but it kind of smells like a light cappuccino type scent. I think I've said that before about another vendor. Okay, then I got these jam drops. So when I first got these, I thought that a jam drop was like a one ounce scent shot, but no, these are actually scoopables. And I didn't learn that until like way after I placed the order, but that's still fine to me. So this is obviously Palo Santo. This is so freaking good. And I did not realize that Palo Santo was a Bath and Body Works dupe. That is news to me. But it's so good. Look how gorgeous too. Her like colors are so pretty and so pigmented on these jam drops. Oh my god, I can't wait to show you all of them. All right, then I got um, cotton candy ice cream, homemade vanilla ice cream, and cotton candy frosting. This one is also gorgeous. I love that color. Beautiful. This is so good. Her cotton candy is very, very strong. Oh my God, I can't wait. <laughs> so I obviously haven't scooped these out yet, but I will update you guys on how easy it is, if it's sticky or if it's um, like how the texture is. I got strawberry butter crunch. Smells like buttery strawberry sandwich cookies. Yeah, it smells like a strawberry sugar cookie. The strawberry is very tart and very strong in here. Really, really nice. I like it. Pizzelle Italian waffle cookies made with flour, eggs, sugar, butter, vanilla, and lemon zest. This is really nice. I really wanted to try Pizzelle by itself. It reminds me of like a vanilla sugar waffle cone just with a slight kick of something different. It's really nice. That would be a good blender to be honest. All right, apple crisp, cinnamon, brown sugar, red apples, and pie crust. Obviously right up my alley. Oh my God, this is so good. This might be my favorite apple crisp scent thus far. You get the cinnamon, the brown sugar, the pie crust. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. I need more. <laughs> that is so, so, so good. I got um, sweet strawberry pie, sweet ripened strawberries, raw sugar cane, and pie crust. This is nice, but it, that's kind of like that fake candy strawberry scent. But you do get a tiny bit of that pie crust, so we'll see how that one goes when it's melting. And then the last one that I got is red apple pomace, pulpy remains of crushed sweet red crisp apples. So this is like straight up mac apple. It is so strong and so good. I am so excited. <laughs> okay, so now we'll get on to the petite fours. So this is what they look like. There are six pack of these squares. So this first one is maple kettle corn, sweet and salty kettle corn drizzled with melted maple butter. This is so good. It's exactly what it says, sweet and salty, and then you get like that maple syrup type scent. It is so yummy. Let's move some of this over so we can see it all. And then on a whim, I grabbed pistachio frosted cookie. Um, the reason I grabbed this one was because I don't have many pistachio scents, but I do like them on occasion. So I figured a six pack should be fine. This is really good. This is a very strong pistachio scent. Very, very strong. Very, very true pistachio scent. That is so good. It's really creamy too. I got um, mornings are for coffee and contemplation. Homemade vanilla ice cream drowned in freshly pumped espresso. So again, it's not very strong. It has that like coffee waxy scent that I talk about. So that one I'm not crazy about. I got Cafe in the Courtyard, lavender coffee and sweet cream. So another lavender coffee scent that I really wanted to try. To be honest with you, I don't like the lavender scent. It smells like a little bit like leather to me. Yeah, I'm not crazy about this one and I don't smell any coffee. So yeah, not too happy with that one. I got mint macchiato, rich chocolate fudge, sweet mint and coffee. There's two F's in fudge, I just realized that, <laughs> typo. I think it's funny when vendors make typos. So this one smells like mostly like chocolate 
but I like it. It's a really nice minty chocolate scent. I like this one a lot, to be honest. Um, toasted coconut tasty cakes, fire roasted shredded coconut and tea cakes. So to me, the tea cakes is really what comes out the most and it kind of smells like lemon. It's like a lemon coconut scent. I actually really like it. I didn't think I was going to at first. When I first smelled it, I was like, eh, it's okay. But now that it's been sitting, I really do like it. It smells like lemon and coconut. Okay, I got lemon crackle, tart and tangy lemon cookies glazed with sugary cotton candy frosting. Look how cute. That's adorable. This is really good too. Love her cotton candy. Love her lemon. This is so strong. I'm very excited for that one because I've been really getting into lemon lately. Um, the Upside Down, Fresh Brewed Coffee, Lavender, Vanilla Cream, and Palo Santo. So this sounded amazing. Now, I don't know what these letters mean. Z-M-L. And then on the back, it says D-T-O. I don't know what that is. And I've been trying to figure it out, and I have no idea. I don't know. So this one is nice. You smell the Palo Santo, like, first and foremost. And then you get a little bit of lavender, but it's not that lavender that I don't like. But I don't get any coffee or like vanilla cream. It's mostly kind of like a Palo Santo with a kick of lavender. Okay, and then the last thing that I got is Moon Pie. Um, lavender, vanilla, marshmallow, and pie crust. I love the pink and the purple here. This one, to be totally honest with you, doesn't smell like anything to me. Maybe a little bit of lavender, but again, that lavender comes off as leather to me. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, maybe I'll melt it and see, but I don't really think it's one that I'm going to like. So that's everything that I ended up getting. So granted, some of the scents I'm not crazy about maybe come off a little bit um, artificial or I can't really smell them. I really like most of the scents that I got, though, and I am really excited to try them. Um, also, I wanted to mention that the box is packed really nicely. Um, everything came in one piece. Nothing broke or cracked or nothing got missing, lost, whatever. Um, so other than some of the scents not being the greatest, I am pretty happy with this order. And I will be trying things soon and, of course, updating and reviewing. I know a lot of you guys are, like, waiting to kill me because I haven't been reviewing some of the new vendors that I got. But I, it's coming, I promise. I just want to get a lot of these hauls up first so I can get things put away. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.